Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the storage class extern or the external variable. If we talk about the types of storage classes, then we are having the four types. The first one is the storage class auto or the automatic variable. The second one is storage class extern or the external variable. Third one is storage class static or the static variable. And fourth one is storage class register or the register variable. Now we are discussing the second type of storage class that is extern or the external variable. Now we are learning the storage class extern or it is having the external variable. Sometimes it is also called external storage class. We know that in our program there are global variables. Global variables are accessible everywhere. So those global variables are also called the external variables. So here we can say that storage class extern or the external variables are the global variables. Global variables are the variables which are declared outside the main. We can see that here we are having the main in the first example. And above that we have declared one variable that is int a which is above the main. Similarly we have taken another example where we are having the main. Above that, we have created one another file. There we have declared int a. So here we can see that they are not part of main. They are declared outside. So they are declared outside the function. External variables or the global variables, they are not part of any function. It can be the main function or any other user defined function. They are outside that. So these are declared outside the function. Global variables or the external variables, these are having the global scope. Global scope means they are accessible everywhere. If you see that here in the first example, we have declared one variable a who is having the value which is 5. Now this variable a, if you want to access inside the main, it can be accessible. You can access inside the function Ankit, you can access. Similarly, in the other example, we are having the variable a. So this a if you want to access inside the main perfectly fine. Access inside the function perfectly fine. So everywhere we can access inside the program. So this is called the global scope means variable is accessible inside the entire program. If we see the first example here we can see that we have made a complete C program. In the first example, we are having a single program. That's why I'm mentioning that P. P stands for the program. But if I talk about the second example, there are two separate programs. So here I have made two blocks. That means this is the program one and another is the program two. So here we can see that second example we have taken is the combination of two separate C programs in which program number one is named with the verma.c so the name of first program is verma.c and second can be any name if we talk about the first program where we are having a single program we have declared one global variable or the external variable that is above the main we can see that here we are having the main function above that we have declared int a so declaration of external variable is above the main so we can say that generally if we are making a single program then the declaration of global variable or the external variable is above the main that means before the main. In the second example we can see that we are using the external variable a. Now that is not declared above the main. We can see that this is the main function. Above the main we are not having the int a declaration but inside the other program we have declared int a that means into the separate file we are declaring it that means in p1 we are declaring the integer a and in the p2 we are using it so that is also possible so external variable or the global variable can also be declared in the other source file or the c program so we can say that the external variable or the global variable we can declare inside the same file but generally above the main or it can be declared in some other source file. So both possibilities are available.
there is one more point to note here for the external variable external keyword is used if we take the example of first program then here we can see that first of all on the top we have declared a variable that is int a and initialized its value that is 5 so on the top of main we have declared the variable now afterward inside the main to access the same variable we are using the keyword that is extern that means int a we are saying that declare a variable int a extern that means this is not the another declaration this is the same variable we are accessing so we are saying extern int a that means a variable which is already declared so that variable we are using similarly if we take the second example here in the first source file that means first c program we have declared a variable int a and initialize the value that is 5 now into the other source file we are using the same file we can see that verma.c is the name of file so that file name we are using in hash include verma.c that means all the parts of first program are coming to the second program so here inside that we are having the main and in the main we are saying extern int a this is not the another declaration it is saying that this int a variable which is externally available so that we are using so here another variable is not declared extern keyword is used that means a external variable which is already declared that we are using so here extern keyword is used so this definition we are providing inside the main but if you are not providing this line that is perfectly fine if you are saying that I want to write this line extern int a so that is perfectly fine your program will run similarly if you talk about the second example if you are not writing this line extern int a then again your program will work fine because in your program we have using the external variable that is int a equal to 5 this line was only signifying that external variable is available I am using it similarly into the second example there is external variable available into the another source file and the line is saying that I am using that external variable so if you are not writing this line that is perfectly fine so this line is optional so if we talk about the first example here first of all we are saying that int a this is called declaration of external variable or the global variable and then afterward inside the main we are saying extern int a this is called the definition and the definition line is completely optional similarly if we talk about the second example where we are having two programs in the first program we are having int a this is called the declaration of external or the global variable this program one we are using into the program two so all the parts of program one coming inside the program two now inside the main we are saying extern int a this is called the definition of external variable and the definition line is optional so here this line is optional if you are not providing your program will work fine by normal declaration the next point about the external variable is that whenever we are using the external keyword at that time the initialization is not possible the reason is that because their value is already defined if we see the first example we can see that first of all we have said int a that means one variable is declared now this variable a let's say the memory is 301 it is having the value which is 5 so that is perfectly fine we have given the value now afterward we have used the keyword extern that means we are using the external variable int a this is signifying that we are using the external variable now here if I am saying equal to 10 now compiler will show the error because their value is already initialized so initialization is not possible when you are using the extern keyword so with the extern keyword this initialization is not possible we can simply say that extern int a that means we are using the external variable if we see the second example in the program one we have declared the variable that is int a 
so inside the memory there is a variable that is declared a and its value we have given is 5 so it is having the value that is 5 then further in the program 2 we are using the program 1 then afterward we are saying extern that means we are using the external variable int a so this a5 we are using now here if I want to say equal to let's say 10 that is not possible because its value is already initialized by the source file or the other program. So this 10 if I want to say that will be the compiler error. So we can normally say extern int a that is perfectly fine but equal to 10 that will be wrong. Even if we are not initializing the value while declaration. If in the example one, I am not initializing the value, even if we cannot initialize while we are using the external keyword. In the second example, where we are having the program one, if I am not initializing the value to the five, even if there I cannot use the value for the initialization while using the external keyword. So simple thing is that if you are using the external keyword, you cannot do the initialization means you cannot provide the value. The next point about the external variable is that whenever we are using the external variable, which is already declared somewhere else. So compiler do not allocate extra memory because they are already defined into the memory. So when you are using that, then they are not consuming any memory. So compiler not allocate memory for the external variables as the memory already allocated while they are declared. If we see the first example then we can see that we have said int a that means we have declared the variable a and they have some memory. So in the memory the variable a is declared. Then after declaration of external variable inside the main we are saying extern that means use the external variable int a. At that time memory is not allocated because the memory is already allocated when the variable was declared. In the second example we are having the two programs. So in the first program we are saying int a that means we are going to declare a variable a inside the memory now afterward program one we are using inside the program two and there we are using the external variable by saying extern int a so this means we are using the external variable so here memory is not allocated because already memory was allocated while the variable was declared so compiler not allocate the memory for external variable because already the memory is allocated while they was declared. If in a program we are having both type of variable, the first one is the external variable that means global variable and second one is automatic variable which means local variable. If these two variables with the same name are available in a program then compiler will give the first priority to the local or the automatic variable. Let us assume that we are having the first example where we are saying int a equal to 5. We know that this is the global variable. So one variable is already declared with the value 5. Let us suppose that we are not using this line extern int a. We are instead declaring one variable let's say int a and we are saying that its value is let's say 9. So when we are going to print the value at that time local variable value 9 will be displayed global variable value 5 will not be shown because local variable will be given the first priority. Similarly if I take the another example in the program number 1 we are saying int a so variable a is declared with the value 5 so its value is 5 we are using that program into the program 2. Now inside the main let us suppose that we are not using the line extern int a and here we are simply saying that int a means we are declaring one more variable a and that value is 9. So now if we are going to print the value at that time the value 9 will be displayed 5 will not be displayed because here on the top we are having global variable 
and here we are having the local variable so the local variable will be given the first priority now we are understanding that how these two examples are working so now we are understanding the first example here we can see that we are having a single program now first of all we have given a comment that is storage class extern or the external variable afterward we are going to include the header file which is stdio.h this is a standard purpose header file for printf and scanf functions then afterward we are declaring a variable that is int a so one variable is declared that is the name a and its memory we are assuming that address is 301 we can see that this variable is declared above the boundary of main so that's why this is the external or the global variable now here we are providing its value that is 5 so this 5 value is given we know that external variable value can be accessed everywhere it is having the global scope then afterward we are saying that void ankit this is the prototype of a function with the semicolon that means there is a function available with the name ankit then afterward we are having the main function which is void main and main is having its own boundary then afterward we are saying extern int a we know that this line is optional but by saying this line we are saying that extern int a that means we are going to access the variable a inside the main if we are not saying this line still we can access the variable with its value because this is the global variable then further we are saying printf means printing on the screen slash and for the new line a so a will be printed then further percentage d for the integer value it will take the value from the a so here the a value is 5 that 5 value will be displayed on the user screen then further we are saying ankit this is the function call so we are going to call the function here the function will be called and control is jumped to the function so here we are having the function which is void ankit now this function is having its own boundary inside the boundary of function we are saying a equal to 10 we know that it is the global variable so this variable we can access here inside the function as well so here its value we are updating that is 10 so here its value is updated with the 10 and this will be reflected to everyone because this is the external or the global variable now afterward we will be going back to the program because function is complete then we are saying printf means printing on the screen slash and for the new line a so a will be printed then we are saying percentage d take the value from a so integer value will be displayed we can see that here 10 is displayed the updated value function updating the value and in the main we are getting that value also because this is the global variable or the external variable global external variable have the scope till the whole program so anybody is updating that value that is accessible to everyone now we are understanding the second example in the second example we are having two programs so here the first program we have swaved with the name that is verma.c so i have made a comment also that program with name verma.c so the name of program one is verma.c inside that program we are saying int a so one variable we are declaring inside the memory and let us suppose that the memory address we are giving is 301 now afterward we are saying the a so its name is assigned as the variable a and the value is 5 then afterward we have made another program the program can be having any name then here we are giving a comment that storage class extern or the external variable then further we are including the header file by saying hash include stdio.h this is for printf and scanf functions then we know that we need program 1 in the program 2 and the program 1 name is verma.c then afterward we are saying hash include means include a file then we are saying double quote start double quote end whenever we are saying the double quote that means it is the user defined file so we should understand that whenever we are saying less than and greater than sign that means this is the system file and whenever we are saying double quote start double quote end it is the user defined file.
so the first one we are using for the normal header files and the double quote we are using for the user defined file or created file we know that the program when we have created with the verma.c name so that is user defined so here this verma.c name we are using that means all the content of program 1 are coming to the program 2 that means the variable we have declared a equal to 5 that is also coming inside the program 2 so this is the external source file so here we are saying void anket that means one function is declared so this is the prototype of the function then afterward we are having the void main and the void main is having its body inside the boundary of main we are saying that extern means we are using external variable int a that means variable is already declared and we are using that variable inside the main if we are not writing this line even if we can use that variable because that variable is the external variable and it is accessible to everyone means throughout the program so here we are using that then afterward we are saying printf means printing on the screen session for the new line a so a will be printed on the user screen percentage d will take the value from the a and the value of a is 5 so that 5 value is displayed then afterward we are saying Ankit this is the function call so this is going to call the function so here control is now transferred to the function so that function is void Ankit the function is having its own boundary inside the boundary of function we are saying a we know that a is the external variable and external variable is accessible everywhere so that is also accessible inside the boundary of function so here inside the function we are saying a equal to 10 that means the variable a value is now updated and that is 10 and this value is accessible to all because this is the external or global variable then afterward function task is complete we are going back to the main so control transfer to the main and we are saying printf means printing on the screen session for the new line a so a will be printed then percentage d that is for the integer value taking the value from a and the a value is already updated that is 10 so that 10 value is updated so here we have learned that storage class extern contain the external variable which means the global variable global variables are accessible to whole program and they can be on the top of main or they can be into the separate file for accessing these external variable we use the extern keyword when we are using the extern keyword at that time we cannot provide the initialization because here compiler can give the error external variable or the global variable are having the global scope that means throughout the program they are available in a program if external and the automatic means global and the local variable both are available with the same name then compiler will give the first priority to the automatic means local variable so that is all about the storage class extern or the external variable